it's time to rise and shine Good morning, good morning, good morning, I hope you're feeling fine Good morning, get up, get out of bed, it's time to wake up, you sleepyhead Time to wake up, it's a brand new day And we can't miss out on that day to decay Get your day planned out to be at your best And you gotta make sure you got the right back test Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes And ratio condos will pay the bills But you gotta be quick to get those fills Follow your plan to keep your pockets thick If that market gaps up, look for Uncle Rick Small gap down means it's time for a duck But if it doesn't set up, then we don't give up Good morning everybody We know why we came here today Now let's get to it Yeah Let's go Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. What is today? November 29th. Hope all is well. Can you believe it? The S&Ps are up again. S&P up 25, NASDAQ up 108, Russell up 16, strongest of the four. Dow up 115, gold slightly green silver up almost one percent notes and bonds higher 10-year yield down one percent oil up one percent natty gas up almost one percent grains a little bit mixed euro in the pound slightly red and bitcoin down a little bit vix 12.61 down a little over half percent So my order of business this morning is I'm going to do a Wednesday AM Iron Condor. It's uh, took the idea from Tim Weiss. It's a 70 minute version. I think he does his on Mondays and Wednesdays too. But um, so I kind of recrafted mine into a three two ratio, and I do some other stuff on Mondays. So I'll be doing the uh, Wednesday 70 minute version. I shared the back test in the Zero Live chat channel right under the Zoom link, if you didn't see it. That'll be added to my December plan. And then um, got a 1-2 DTE. Looks like that'll close for over 10%. My 5-7, I'll be closing that. It's currently showing at about 28% profit. So that thing really popped up overnight. I put discretionary Rick on my agenda because I may I may scope out a discretionary Rick today. Um, let's see. As far as econ reports go, had preliminary GDP pre market, and uh, we've got the beige book. At 1 p.m. Central today. Tomorrow, OPEC meetings all day. Core PCE price index and unemployment claims pre-market. So sometimes the beige book's a big deal. Sometimes it's not. You know, the calendar labels it as low impact. But, of course, if there's any kind of little surprise in the beige book... Good move things. There's the opening bell. So it looks like the $4 strikes are going to be 85s, 65s, 20 wide. No difference between 8 and 20, huh? I thought I remembered playing with around with that stop. Let me check here. Yeah, there's a pretty decent, a little pretty decent, decent, uh, pretty decent difference on mine. <clears throat>
SPX still pushing up. My order should be coming in. There we go. Here it comes. Looks like it's going for the 85. Nope. Yeah, 85. Oh, cancel replace. 8570s. Trying to get filled. There we go. Got filled at 2170 on the 8570, so 15 wide. I'm in my AM ratio. SPX still pushing higher. All right, so I'm going to get out of my 1-2 DTE. That'll be a nice winner. Not trying to get filled at 770 on my one, two, not filled yet. There we go. Filled at 770. Got my five, seven. It's currently up about 35%. I'm going to go ahead and close that one as well. Hold on my five seven at twelve fifteen. All right, so just posted both of those in the calendar channel. Oh, I see what you're say saying. No, oh, yeah, exit trades at 1042. Yeah. Yeah, so this will close out at 942 my time. All right, so closed out my calendars. Even with SPX pushing up, VIX hasn't really moved. Rick is trading at 980. Let's 
though, starting the day with a 17 point expected move. Opened it, call it 45.72. 89 to the upside. Fifty five to the downside. I saw seventeen after the market opened, right when the market opened. Either way, it's just kind of a general range. Yeah, VIX is kind of kind of holding here. I'm going to jump in a discretionary Rick here. Get filled at nine forty. All right, filled at nine forty five. So there's the Rick I just got in. All right, so that's all I had for this morning. At the open, I'll do a DKS here a little bit later. Yeah, you can copy that. You got to just put LMT on the end and it'll copy into TOS. Yeah, but you forgot the price. Keep everything the same. Just add, add, add that LMT at the end. And then what you'll do is you'll... So like that. And then um, what you'll do is you'll, it looks like you figured it out, but for anybody else, you just copy it and then you go to your order entry and saved orders and hit the little paste button and then it populates.
Let's see who who I got here hanging out with me this morning. Alan, Anil, Bandit, Ben Brown, Bloody, Dale Hayes, Daner, Daniel, Dick K in the house. Diego, Don, EDH, Elliot, Eric, Eric Allison, Glenn, Hamza, JR, Jason, JB, Ken, Ken and Ken's iPad. Dual. Klaz, Krish, Lasoza, Lauren, Man, Mark, Morrow, Michael Todd, Mirage, Amono22, Pervez, Pete. Ron, Ryan P, Trading Naked, Vegas Michelle, White Tiger, Wolfgang, Azur, DA, and Eddie. Welcome, welcome, everyone. So we've got, so I just had, you know, a couple, couple trays to put on the open, so we'll probably make this a fairly short live stream, but anybody new, feel free to jump in and ask any questions you have. I will be... finalizing my December plan, hopefully today, and I'll get that posted in the trade plans channel. Uh, opt for dollar. Black Friday is gone black friday's over thanksgiving's over cyber monday's over i think you missed that deal So a couple of nice calendar profits this morning. That, uh, that felt good. I've got a single calendar currently on an SPX. Currently up a little bit. Still need a down move for our time flies. Uh, hey man, um, every all, all the uh, I don't I don't check the Zoom chat, so all the posts and everything are in the zero live chat channel in Discord. Yeah, I'm going to close the VIX trade this week. I don't want to let it just continue to dwindle. Thought we might hold or bounce a little bit at 14. That didn't happen. So just giving a little, little chance to see if we get any kind of a pop at all this week. Hey, MBK, so uh, zero DTE moves too fast this isn't something where you can have somebody post a trade and then you can just copy it doesn't work that way so we we teach you how to trade we've got the zero dte course channel so you can go through those courses uh understand the strategies build out a trade plan based on your account size risk tolerance all that good stuff uh it just moves too fast so we live stream both in the morning Sometimes I live stream for zero DTE. Sometimes uh, Chad live streams for our other day trading strategies. You can check the live stream channel for that schedule. Um, but like above, I just, I posted a uh, reverse iron condor that I took this morning just on a discretionary basis. But um, 
but the trades aren't posted. They just, they move too fast. You can't, there's no, uh, there's no copying the trades. That's not how this works. You've got to, you've got to learn the strategy and understand how to execute the trade. Yeah, you can, I mean, if you want to hold the VIX trade, you certainly can, Mauro. I'm not, I don't, I'm not interested in taking the full, full loss. When I put it on, you know, I, we were seeing the market, even when the market was moving higher, the VIX was kind of holding or actually starting to go up. So I thought it may have been trying to base a little bit at 14. And so that was kind of the design around that, around the trade, right in this area. Well, it kept going down, right? It didn't, it didn't hold like I was hoping. So I'm not going to let it just dwindle and take full loss on that trade. I'm going to, I'm going to cut it if we don't get a bounce this week, but you can certainly hold it if you want to. SPX still hovering around 4584-ish. We do have Jay Powell on Friday speaking in the morning and afternoon. So then we'll see if he can say anything that gives us a little pop. We also have Core PCE and, and OPEC tomorrow. And unemployment claims. Never know. S and P up twenty nine. Nasdaq up one fifty. I didn't take any futures trades this morning. Didn't see anything that I liked. What are you looking for trading naked? The back test? Uh, let's see. Oh, there you go. Thanks, guys. I was looking for it. It's the one that Krish posted. Yeah, be more trader. The one that you posted didn't qualify. Because the VIX contracted too much. So it's the other one. That's the other one. Yeah. So going back to who was asking that question earlier, MBK. Yeah. So in the trader in the trade plans channel, you'll see all the trades and exactly how I trade them. And I put that out one month at a time. So I'll, I'm getting ready to post my December trade plan, but the November plans in there. 
and you'll see the option Omega backtest links for all the strategies with all the criteria that I use. So this 70 minute uses a trailing stop. So what I've been doing in trade steward is just going in and every time it moves a buck or so, I'll go in and reduce it. So I'm going to reduce that down to 18. So we'll go ahead and stay on here until my AM ratio comes off. Currently up seven and a half percent. So, Krish, you had sent me that re-entry. I'm not sure what your what what's your question on that. So here's the one that you sent me. Well, I mean, I. I shared the one that I use. So I, I would just say, I mean, if you compare it to the one I use, um, so it'd be this one. So, I mean, your your drawdown significant significantly higher, mar significantly lower. Your win percentage is higher, so it's just a preference. I don't, I'm not sure what you're what you're asking for, but I I chose the one that I did because that's the one I like. If you prefer a higher win rate, then you should go with yours. If you you know put more weight in the other metrics. You know, I put I put more weight in the other metrics rather than win rate. Yeah, it just depends, Krish, on on what your preference is. Yours has a higher win rate, but a much lower mar, much higher drawdown. So if if win rate's what you're after, then go with yours. I I wasn't going after win rate. I was going after a higher mar, lower drawdown. Uh, white tiger. So the AM ratio trade I'm in, I'm going to be out here in about um, oh, actually, yeah, we won't stay on that long. Never mind. I was thinking it was coming off quicker. Um, so that that one will come off the the reverse iron condor will stay on all day so it could it could just kind of tread water all day and then make a move at the end and still profit so you could just still easily profit on both or it could hit my profit target or exit on yeah so i could hit my profit target exit on time or get stopped out and then win on the other one so there's a lot of a lot of variables there 
So when I trade a RIC, I put it on, it either hits my profit target or it expires. Now, my, my reverse iron condor, my official criteria is VIX needs to be over, I think I have it set at 14, if I remember right. Yeah, minimum VIX of 14, because it doesn't perform as well with this lower VIX, but the market's been going up today. VIX is just kind of sitting there. So I decided to take one on a discretionary basis. And the other the other piece of that is we've just seen, you know, pretty, pretty tight ranges over the last week or so, over the last four trading sessions. So I'm just thinking, okay, maybe we push up to the upper expected move and then we, you know, have a little bit more movement which they obviously benefit from movement. So that was my logic. Yeah, you want to um you want to set up your OCOs on just the shorts. So, yeah, kind of like I before I was using Trade Steward, what I was doing is is I would just go in and I would buy the longs and then set up your OCO just on the shorts. Yep. Yeah, so in the morning, yeah, same exact thing. So as soon as the bell goes off or even pre-market, I would have an order in to buy my longs. And then as soon as the as soon as those get filled, then I would put in my OCO order using the toss order templates. Are you familiar with the the order templates? Have you set up any of those yet? Yeah, that's the that's the easiest way to do it. <coughs> yeah, Ryan P, that's that's one of the kind of the last things I'm trying to figure out for my December trade plan that I'm going to be working on today. Not quite sure. I mean, definitely not a four dollar. I definitely wouldn't be trading. A, we're we've been looking at like a five dollar, five dollar fifty cent straddle. At the money, is what, is what it's been trading at. Yeah, I don't I don't need a full four dollars each side, but I definitely want more than six, which is kind of where I'm leaning to. If I don't, if I can't get at least six bucks, just the risk reward is just pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, four dollars would be amazing on each side. I'd, I'd love to see four dollars again. <laughs> Yeah, it was just a white tiger is just a totally different ball game because there was no everyday expirations. I mean, you could test on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but it was just a totally different ball game, you know. Um let's 
So here's, uh, you know, I mean, the S and P was below 4,000 too. So it's, you know, it's, it's priced lower than it is today. You know, now it's at almost 4,600. I mean, I guess that's not that much different. We saw 4,100 earlier, but, um, so it depends on how far you go back. Yeah, I noticed that tomorrow. You got a yeah, your risk that doesn't help your risk reward, right? But you know, that may be the answer is just taking on more risk for less profit if you're gonna do it. Uh, my thought, Dick K, is I just I try to be more conservative on the back test. And if I outperform it in, in real trading, so be it. But I'd rather just keep my back tests of more of a worser case scenario. Yeah, Chris, like I just said, tranche one, I don't, I don't, I'm not really interested in trading if I can't get at least six bucks. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily, you know, I know a lot of you go through every day and, and compare your trades to the back test. And I, I just, I don't necessarily do that. I mean, I, I, I do it more on a broader scope, you know, a month at a time to kind of see how, I, how I perform versus the back test, but I don't, I'm not, I don't go in each day and compare my results to the back test. So from my perspective, I don't, it's not that big of a deal, but if, if that's part of your, part of your plan, then I would, I would say it probably makes sense what you're saying. I pushed almost up to the expected move, getting a tiny pullback. AM ratio is up a little over Thanks, Marl. Thanks for looking out for my zero DTE trade. Is that what you were saying, Dick K, from when you say from an analysis standpoint, is that what you were talking about when you're comparing your trade to the back test? Or was I completely off on what you meant?
Also, Dick K, did you do a six seven this week? I usually don't do a five seven and a six seven, but the five seven worked out well. Gotcha, I see. Get a little poppy poppy in VIX with this little down move. VIX is now green. That's right, Dark Avenger. I forgot. You do get credit. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> That's right. If it would have been a loser, I would have blamed you. So you get credit when it worked. Nice. SPX coming back down towards the open. Yeah, with this low volatility, it might be it might be calendar season, boys and girls. My back test driven calendars have rocked this year. The one twos, one threes, six sevens, five sevens, three fives. Those have all done good. TGIFs, not so much. Yeah, so I've got the three four in my trade plan as well. I just, you know, if I have on a six seven. Then come Monday, the three four is the same, same cycle. So I just, I just haven't really. I, I just, I feel like I'm doubling up if I do that one. Yeah, the deltas will typically be different. Yeah, that's true. Price right back to where we opened today. Rick's coming to life. He was supposed to he was supposed to sleep in until about 70 minutes after the bell. Let's see, I got in Rick at 945. So 1230 is my exit. Have a good day, Ron. Hope you get a hole in one. I am going to jump off here as well. Unless there's any other questions or commentary. Hey, Perry, do me a favor. I don't monitor the Zoom chat. Please post in the Zero Live chat channel. Perry's question was thoughts on trading Rick only before red 
Forex factory calendar events. Yeah, I mean, you could certainly try that. I mean, those are, you know, if you if you know about the event, so does the market. Um, you know, we've been seeing some pretty decent move around bond auctions. Which, speaking of, I better check to see if there's any of those today. No bond auctions today. But and then obviously you got the... Uh, a lot of scheduled events are pre-market. So obviously you can't do it then unless you were to use like ES or something. Um, <clears throat> you know, we we trade a long strangle or you could do a RIC around FOMC, but we have very specific setup criteria for that one. Um, after we after we get the volatility contraction after the right after the conference starts, um, you know, and then you get one like on Friday. There's the ISM manufacturing PMI. You know, to me, that's not something that I'm gonna. That's not something I'm thinking is gonna make a major move enough to specifically put on a reverse iron condor before that. But, you know. There's obviously sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, but not something that, that I do on a consistent basis. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here. Jump into DKS here in about 10 minutes. And uh, get out of my AMIC here in about 30. All right, all. We'll be back for Power Hour. Have a good day. Chat with you soon.